But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. As you see our topic uh, for now, it's about Putin and his dream. And I want to remind everybody that in this video I'm not speaking against Russia as people, I'm speaking about a man. Obviously he is a dictator and he have a dream to be the same as the Muslim Caliphate. You know, he want to conquer, uh, he want his name to be remembered as uh, many kings before him. And uh, uh, you will see some in the comment section says, uh, may God bless Putin. I don't know why. I mean, you see, when you bless somebody, you need to give me a reason. Is that because he killed too many Christians? I'm not sure. Is that because he's invading others? Maybe. This is what uh, people, they bless each other for. Somebody comes to your neighborhood and take your house. Then you say to him, God bless you, obviously. So you will notice in the comment later some silly, stupid comments of people who claim to be Christians. One of the things I noticed is Armenian Christians, and this is what my topic today is about. Let us go to the map. In the year 2021, Turkey and Azerbaijan and Israel, they launch a huge attack on Armenia. Now, some of you will say, Israel, what are you talking about? Yes, Israel. 90% of the weapon used in the war against Armenia was coming, especially the one, the aggressive one, was coming from Israel. So Israel really is the first one to blame of as many deaths as you can imagine. And Turkey. And you know those Armenian people, uh, I love Armenian people, and they are very smart, and they are very brave. So again, I'm not putting them down, because some naive, some dummies, they will make their comment, just wait. Those Armenian, and let us say the government, and even the people, they put their trust on Russia. You know, they, there is a propaganda like Russia is our mother, Russia is our protector, Russia, Russia, Russia. And the Turkish is our enemy, etc., which is true. I mean, the Turkish is their enemy. And the Turkish, they killed more than a million and a half Armenian with no mercy. Women, children, and the big, even the images are there in the internet. But because this man, Putin, he is extremely filthy, he have no dignity. He signed an agreement with the Armenian. It's called security agreement. It's have a name. And actually now, if you see the picture in the, in the thumb, he is inviting the countries which is signed this agreement to join in a meeting. And we will talk about that very soon. So he made them sign an agreement, making them believe that if you sign this agreement, Russia will stand for you and will protect you. But Putin now, he have a new dimension. Turkey is not an enemy. Turkey is a friend. In fact, 
while the Turkish were storming Armenia with their armed forces, military, soldiers on the ground, and drone, airplanes, you name it, hundreds of thousands of Russian, they were visiting Turkey. And just not to make it, you know, just only the Russian, Ukrainian too, because there's a lot of foolish people there. You do not know by supporting Turkey, you are supporting your enemy who dream to conquer you. But what you consider the dummies, dummies are dummies, will never change. Unless somebody warned them, but it's going to be too late. So Turkey became heavily dependent on her economy by the Russian tourism, especially in the time of Corona. The only ones who go there is the Russian. Buying, shopping, tourism, tourism. In the same time, Russia became one of the huge buyers of uh, Turkish products, like vegetables. And actually, the stupid Ukrainian government do the same. They support Turkey by tourism, by buying their vegetables, to the point nobody want to buy even the vegetables is made in Ukraine itself. So we have two donkeys, one in Ukraine and one in Russia. And the winner is Erdogan. So Erdogan now, they are fighting. Who is going to get more of a friend to Erdogan? Ukrainian, <laughs> because their government is run by a donkey. And Putin, who is obviously he have no honor, and he is everything for sale. So both of them, they are trying to fight. Who is going to be more close to Turkey? And the one who pay the price is those who they are in war with Turkey, Armenia. So the Armenian in 2001, they uh, been attacked and they lost a horrible loss. Thousands of young Armenian, Christian Armenian, been slaughtered with no mercy by the Israeli weapon. This is why some of you say it's like, you know, they think when I speak about Israel, they think I support Israel. Israel always support actually Muslims in any war against Christians. This is the truth. And I'm talking about the government. Anytime, like who is actually, who is the most close friend to Turkey? Maybe some of you think that Erdogan and Israel is, is, is enemies. They have Mossad centers. They have exchange of army information. They are building weapons to Turkey. Israel is number one country in the world who buys steel from Turkey. So, they, you know, in the appearance they found, like Erdogan is speaking about freeing Jerusalem, blah, blah, blah. But in the ground, the story is different. Armenian is always the one to pay. Just lately, Putin, even he forced Armenia to go and ask for peace with Turkey. Why? Because he wants to have zero problems with Turkey. What is the purpose? Uh, well, is the Armenia really going to have an peace agreement? Is that possible? That is impossible. But he is forcing them in order to show them that, okay, well, if you don't want peace, then you have to come to me. If you want to live and survive, you have only Russia. In the last three, four years, the Russian government made a lot of, let us say, encouragement to Russian citizens to move into Armenia. And right now, there's hundreds of thousands of Russian moved and they live full time, which means it became their country in Armenia. But what is the purpose? Let us look again and see what happened. Maybe I need to find another uh, map. Give me a second. I'm trying to find a different map so like we can help us better. Let us see. 
could be this one. Okay, let's see this one. And each time we open one, it, it takes us to pictures. I don't know what's happening. I'm not looking for pictures, I'm looking for floor maps. Look like we were not we are not getting successful but anyway let us uh, if we look here in georgia let us go to the screen again this is georgia and russia invade georgia for a very simple reason we have russia in there georgia the majority of it is a christian orthodox people well the same is russia the same is ukraine the same as armenia so what the problem exactly the problem that the Russian government they are using a little minority in any country in order to conquer and take over the land so now the Armenian they open their borders to the Russian to come eh, now they will come as a citizen like everybody and like a, like a you know like a friend country then by time they will became a big number then if they try to get rid of the Russian Putin will say to them, you cannot do that. We are coming after you. The same, exactly the same excuse he used in, in Georgia, the same he used in Moldova. I mean, if you look at uh, Russia and Moldova, let's look at Moldova here, you know, just to show you how the madness of this man goes so far. Give me a second. There is more than, <clears throat> I don't know, a thousand to a thousand miles away between Moldova and Russia. This is Moldova, or Moldova, depends how you pronounce it. And Russia, and this is Moscow. Let us uh, use an arrow so people can see. I need to zoom out more. Maybe zoom in, actually zoom. Okay, that maybe will do. So, uh, in Moldova, in the borders, there is little tiny minority of Russian here. But Russia have no borders with Moldova. That will not change anything for Putin. He sent his army and they occupy a huge part of the borders. And the excuse is, you are, you know, this is Russian territory and Russian live there. In Ukraine, the same story. There is Russian people, even though not really Russian. There are some people, they like Russia, but they are not even Russian. So because we are, you know, here, so we go and let us go and invade them. And we are going to establish a Russian state in this area, you know, all this way. And he is expanding to control the Black Sea. Look, the Russian area supposedly is here. But the guy is already here. And now is going all the way to Odessa. He took all this territory. And the reason for many naive people do not know, he want to continue until he take Odessa so he can reach to Moldova. Do you see what is this? What is the plan? This way, Russia is going to extend from here, this area here, all the way to Moldova. And Ukraine is going to be surrounded and they will be blocked from the Black Sea, which means they have no access to Black Sea. And then Russia can force Ukrainian to pay them a lot of money in order to use the port, which is their port, but now it's going to be a Russian port. They will take Odessa, they will take or, uh, uh, Mariupol and, and all the industry, and they will strip Ukraine from anything, make money. So they will turn Ukraine into dust and they will turn Ukraine to be surrounded by Russia from all direction. And if you want to survive, well, you have to join Russia. So Moldova, Odessa, 
Mariupol, Kharkiv, all the way here. And for sure, he tried to go to Kiev by sending Kadarov, but the Ukrainian, they destroy more, more than 60% of his army. And they killed thousands of Kadarov, Chechenia army. So he could not go to, uh, to Kharkiv, so he withdrew like a rat. And actually, I just saw the news that the Ukrainian, they were able to push Putin all the way in Kharkiv to the borders, which means the Russian, they run away from that area. They tried their best to control Kharkiv. This city, I was there actually, and I did some work there. I did some seminars in Kharkiv. This is uh, considered the second uh, uh, city in, in Ukraine. It's a heavy industry. Uh, uh, which means it's very important, extremely important for Ukraine. So uh, the Russian, they have a plan to take it, and they were thinking they can take it maybe in a few days. But I really, I have to pay a lot of respect to the Ukrainian uh, people who fought the biggest and massive army. They call it supposedly the, the second massive army in the world. And I just saw in the news how the people of Ukraine they pushed the Russian all the way to the borders, which is really hard to believe. I mean, those people, they have really no weapon. And the American weapon they are giving them, they are giving them junk. You see, they, are, they show you in TV, they are giving them uh, uh, the anti-craft or anti-tanks. I mean, this is junk. This is nothing really compared to what the Western they have. They are giving them the lowest grade. It's like giving them an, em an emission, literally. So the West is not really supporting. The country lost more than 400 billion and the American they are so proud about donating 1 billion you know but you know in Iraq we used to pay 1 billion every 10 days so until now did not even give them what we used to spend in every 10 days in Iraq or in Afghanistan so the support of the Western is extremely horrible extremely false extremely disgusting and they are not the one to trust. And this is the problem of the government of Ukraine. They have a donkey in the office. I respect him now just because he's brave, he did not run. But obviously, he's a certified donkey. He trusted too much the Western that they will help him. And before the attack, actually, the Western countries, all of them, they invite Putin to attack. Macaron, Macaroni, the president of France, he keep going to uh, like like a cat, you know, respect yourself. And he keep telling him, like, you know, we will not attack you. We will not go in war. So why you are going there? We will not, even if you attack them. So a guy, the guy, he got the message. And then the president of USA, he, he said it clearly in TV. If Russia involved, we will, let me repeat, we will never respond. Let me repeat, we will, the guy, he got the message. They gave him all the green lights he want to attack Ukraine. Actually, I, I accused the Western. They are the one who invited Putin to attack Ukraine. I don't think he even was planning to attack. But when he saw how cowardly they are and how horribly they are inviting him repeatedly. And if you remember, before the attack, uh, all Western countries, they took all their embassy out of Kiev. Not a single one state. You see how much friends they are? I mean, when, when you know who is your friend, you know your friend when you need him, right? Hmm. So the friends of the Ukrainian, they are the first one to run for their life. Sweden took their embassy out, Germany, actually Germany from the first, Israel, USA, France, they emptied, they emptied the capital, which means they are saying to Putin, just bomb them, man. We are out. Just slaughter them no mercy we don't even have a single citizen there go for it and the guy he got the message i mean why they are leaving when he did not do the attack yet that's mean they are not going to support they are not standing with them and they don't care so putin he got the message and they decide to attack I saw many videos of Ukrainian army. They are using toys to fight the Russian. Look how poor those people are. You know the toys? If you go to Amazon, you can buy them. The DJI, 
DJI for war? Yes, DJI. And actually, they were able to destroy a lot of Russian junk using those toys. They are toys. They are not meant. This is like to take pictures, to take videos with GoPro, not to carry a bomb. So they have limited in the size of the bomb, how small it is. And then they go, and those are not accurate because you throw it and then the wind push the bomb because you have to throw it from high. So the, the Russian, they cannot shoot it down. Uh, the higher, the smaller it look, the, the, the harder to shoot. You know, if you are a person who uh, do shooting, you know that. So they have to go extremely high and then they throw the bomb. And most of the time they have to, three, to, to throw three, four, five bombs in order to one of them to hit. But what they can do, this is how, what this what this what they have, and you know this is telling you that the government of Ukraine was not preparing really for war, even though they claim that they were preparing. The fact they were not, obviously, and obviously this president he have no idea how to run a country, especially a country is going to war or in war already because this war started in 2014. It's not something new, so he was a you know idiot. And he bought a few drones from Turkey. He thought now he, he solved the problem. But those Turkish drones are very costly, useless, and Ukraine, they can make better. So why you are buying? Make your own. Anyway, this is not really what we are talking about now. So Armenia, Armenia, because of their sensitive location, the Turkish, they want to control Armenia because this is how they can have access to Azerbaijan. And Putin, he need Turkey. Actually, right now we heard in the news that Erdogan is going to block Sweden and Finland from joining the NATO. So he is giving a hand to Putin. Putin, he will not like that at all to see because the whole purpose of this war supposedly is to stop Ukrainian from joining the NATO, not to push more countries to go to the NATO. So Erdogan now, he will help Putin in his plan to block Sweden and Finland from joining the NATO. How he can do that? Simply he accused them that they are supporting the Kurdish. Very simple. You cannot make somebody join the NATO and that country is supporting somebody enemy to one of the NATO. As simple as that. But anyway, I know Erdogan is just a puppy. At the end of the day, you give him a bone, he shut up. So he is, in this is what the whole point is. He is asking Sweden and Finland to give him some money. After you give them money, the Turkish will be happy with you, and the bribe is working. Uh, but the Armenian uh, people, they are really going to suffer the consequence of their ignorance and their trust of Russia. Armenians are very smart people, very educated, and they are very good in making machines. Actually, most of the machines, the most uh, important airplanes in Russia is made by Armenian. So why in the world Armenia became so weak? This is what happened when you have a stupid government who always depend on somebody else to protect them. And this is what happened to Ukraine. They trusted too much the NATO. But as you see, the NATO is picking poo, poo in their pant because of Russia. But then look what happened. After the attack on Ukraine, the NATO, they notice that the Russians are not really that massive, strong. Look. The Ukrainian, the farmers, they are destroying their army in a massive way. What happened to the T-90, the, the, the tank which nobody can hunt? How the, how, I mean, this is the most weak weapon it turned to be. What happened to the F-500, sorry, the, the, the S-500 and 400? And you notice that Putin, he did not sell any of those weapons to Armenia during the war, but he sold that to the enemy, to the Turkish. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is how much he hate Armenia, this guy. He don't care. This guy, he have no dignity. He have no ethic. He want to slaughter the Armenian, so to force the Armenian to join Russia and to be under Russia forever. So he refused to give them any serious weapon. In the same time, he sold the most important weapon in his army. He gave it to the Turkish. How you explain that? And the American they did the same to the Ukrainian. They arm. What is the first decision 
the stupid Biden he did when he became a president. Anyone remember? Let me search it online. The first day, the, the guy, he just get in the office. And the funny is, they accused Trump that he was an agent for Russia. But the first thing uh, 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 Biden he did, he left sanctions on Russian pipeline. Can you believe it? The first thing he did, he left the sanctions on the pipeline. And you know, uh, uh, Ukraine already occupying half of Georgia or maybe 30% of Georgia and they are expanding. Ukraine already. So, wh so why you did that? Any, anyone can explain to us why, why Biden? He did that? No, no explanation. And they accused Trump to be an agent for the Russian. The first thing he did in the office, the guy, he just entered the White House. It looked like he is paid for it. Who is the agent for the Russian? Why did the Russian behave? Did they uh, withdraw from Georgia? Did they withdraw from uh, Ukraine? Uh, what happened exactly? Why you are lifting this? And what well, this is for the benefit of who? And when the German counselor, this filthy woman, she made it so clear, it doesn't matter, even if he kill all the Ukrainian, we will not cancel the pipeline. So Putin now, he is so comfortable. He guaranteed that his gas is going to be sold, the money is coming, the coward they left Ukraine, all the Western countries, and they are inviting him. Who left? Those poor farmers. Ukrainian. So he said to himself, huh, hey generals, what do you think? Sir, we can take them there in three days. Actually, I saw an article in Arabic more than six months ago in, 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 in Russia today. And in the article they were saying that we are, you know, if, if things go to war, we are going to take Kharkiv, uh, Dnipro, uh, Mariupol, Odessa in less than 36 hours and they will be part of Russia forever and if somebody can go and find it for me you know I remember I was discussing that with the, some Ukrainian friends uh, and the, fun, the funny is Russia today they say at the end of the article this article respond sorry uh, present the author of the article not necessarily the government of Russia you are right. And this is exactly, this is exactly what is happening now. He is attacking Ukraine. He tried his best. Like if we go right now, let's, let's just find a different map. Give me a second. Maybe this one. <clears throat> I don't know how old this map is, but let us use it. I think this is an old map. Yeah, this is an old map. Uh, give me a second to see. It is search 2000. May 2022. Chief editor of Russia Today is Armenian. Yeah, give me a break. Do he dare to say what, what I'm saying? Chief editor. Well, I know that even the foreign minister of, uh, of Russia is Armenian too, right? This is how they enslave you, my friend. To fool you. He says, see, look, you know, we have the foreign ministers in Armenian. 
It's like in the Middle East, you know, they make a minister, a Christian person, a minister, but the Christians are slaves. It's just to show in the front of the world, you see, like we have a Christian minister. Christian minister, what do you want more? But they choose a puppy who don't present the Christians. And that's why he's there. So look what happened here. This is the map. This is a little bit older map too. This is Mars 6 actually. But anyway, the plan was that they will take all this area and all this area and then they will close into Odessa and they will go to Moldova. And Moldova already they have, a, they have a, I don't know how many thousand uh, Russian soldiers there already uh, stationed there against the will of the people, occupation as usual. So this is Moldova. This is where the Russian in the borders occupying part of Moldova. Now they are here, you know, they take Kherson city, Mariupol. They are, they are stealing all the ports of Ukraine so they can suffocate the country. And the plan is to go to Odessa, but until now they were not able because there is some difficulty here. There's some natural difficulty, which is giving them, giving them the Ukrainian advance of uh, fighting uh, and destroying the the Russian plan, uh, they have to cross some rivers, and you know, and until now they failed. They try many times. Actually, the last one I saw, last video, the Ukrainian they destroy more than fifty seven tanks and vehicle in one day. Imagine trying to cross a river. This is how successful the Ukrainian, and this is how stupid this Russian army is. I mean, aren't you stupid or what? And this is the third time they do it. And each time they try, they lose them massively. So shouldn't you clean the other side of the river before you attack your, your donkey? What kind of leadership? So they want to cross. And Putin, he don't care how many children they die from his nation. This guy, he just want to take it. Just send them. I don't care. It's like Holako. If I show you videos about soldiers left down like dogs, have you ever heard of an army respect itself? Throwing their soldiers left like dogs in the street? Shouldn't you take them, bury them, send them back to their families? The Israeli army once, they exchanged 2,500 terrorists for a dead soldier. Dead, not alive. So Putin will not stop unless he take Armenia, he take Georgia, and now he have a meeting with those countries who they have a puppy president. Puppy, you know puppy? Uh, if we go here, let us see. Uh, we're in the news. Yeah, this is like a, a Germany, a German news station, Deutsche Welle. And this is the title. So now the Russian president. He invited the president of Belarus, Armenia, etc., Kazakhstan, and those are the the, the president. They are, you know, uh, I mean, they are puppies. They have no charge of their country. They don't even dare to say no to Putin. But now look what happened. Because now Putin, he feels so weak. He feels horribly, horribly, about his loss. According to the last numbers, one third of his armed forces as tanks are destroyed in Ukraine. The country who he thought he can take in three days. One third. So what will happen after three months from now? He will use two third, we will lose two third. So if the, uh, if the war continue for a year, he will lose all his tanks. This is why the Ukrainian, they were able now to push them all the way to the borders. Actually, there is a video uh, let me see. Let 
Ukrainian soldiers uh, taking the border post after it was moved by the Russian army. Let's see if I can find it. Give me a second. Which means all the men who died sent by Putin. And by the way, more than 80% of the men that are sent to fight in Ukraine, they are Muslims. Either from Chechnya or from Dagestan, etc. He is not sending any soldiers from rich areas like uh, Pittsburgh or Moscow. Why? Because they don't want to see funerals there. They don't want to see people revolt, like, you know, uh, complaining. This is the video, actually. Here we go. This is the video of Ukrainian soldiers, and they are holding the post. You know, when I saw the video first time, I said to myself, why in the world somebody will hold a beam, have the colors of Ukrainian flag, and walking with it? I mean, that even will make it seem from far distance. It turned to be those soldiers, they were defeating the Russian army the biggest massive army in the world all the way to their borders and now they are putting their post and they are sending a message to their president that we made it we kicked them out and the city of Kharkiv is safe so many of you are naive they think of russia as a you know i'm not against the russian by, by the way i will not even make myself think badly about russian people but I am very disgusted from such a filthy man. His name is Putin. He is willing to sacrifice his own people and the people of Ukraine and destroy the resource of two countries, his country and Ukraine. For what? Russia is the biggest massive country in the world. There's no country like Russia. It's a fact. They have borders with USA. They have borders with China. They have borders with Japan. They have borders with everybody. They are so massive. So why you need more land? Why we cannot live in peace? And I was in Kharkiv. And even those who support Russia, they are, nobody is discriminated. I walk in Ukraine, I found there's all kinds of people. There's people from Azerbaijan, they have businesses, they are, you know, they own the, 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 the oil industry. Everybody is welcome in this country. They are not racist as they claim, fascists, Nazis. So what this war for? Because this filthy man, he wanted to establish his own empire. I don't mind, actually. And I like the idea that Ukraine and Russia are friends. And actually, they support each other. Actually, I believe that Ukraine and Russia, they will make better friends than Ukraine and America. Those Americans, they have no friends. They don't have a friend. They will sell you. In Amazon. Trump, he was calling the president of Ukraine. All what he care is give me proof that his son of Biden is doing corruption. And actually, I, I say thank God that Trump is not in the office. All what Putin, he need to do he buy him a gift, a property in Moscow, and Trump, he will go silence. The same as he did with Armenian. The Armenian, they were shouting, asking Trump for help. And all of us, we knew if a Trump or Putin give a warning to Turkey, the war will stop immediately. Trump, he liked to show, he, you know, Trump and Putin, they are the same. They love to show up. So Trump, he invited the president of Armenia, the president of Azerbaijan, and uh, okay, sign here, a new sign here, you know, you sign, uh, a new sign. So he forced two people to sign, but sign what? A piece of paper, nothing, just to show off. All those fake leaders, you will notice they share one thing. They like to show themselves that they are, they like to be worshiped, they like to be praised. They like to be in the front. So Putin, 
he is playing karate. I mean, why a president of a massive country like this, he wanna he wanna take a, a, a an honor, a certificate from the karate, blah blah blah. blah. Like, are you like are you a Bruce Lee now? What is that exactly would do to you? I mean, what what is more honor to you to be more than the president of one of the biggest countries in the world? But they love to show off. His puppy cut her off. They like to show off. The older than they have the same mental illness. Trump, he loved to show off. So the mistakes of those countries like Ukraine, Armenia, Georgia, that they trust, the one they should not trust. They trust the American, but the American, they have no friends. Now we change the president, the, the, the politics will go against maybe Ukraine, you never know. Actually, Trump just two days ago, he wanted to, de he wanted to destroy the NATO. He wanted to get rid of it. There's no need for the NATO. And this is why, this is why I say Putin is stupid. The NATO became a point of where it's going to collapse because there's no threat. People are relaxed. So what the NATO for? Germany never have really an army. Until now, Germany have no army. What army? The army of England is 80,000. Hezbollah is 100,000. But now the stupid Putin, he made everybody go aggressive and they start spending. Germany now decide to spend at 2% of their GDP for war, and weapon, and army. That is a massive number for such a Germany country. So this guy, he woke up all and make them enemy in one day. He did not win in Ukraine. He made everybody now an enemy to Russia. And now everybody is terrified. And on top of that, now Finland and Sweden and other countries are going to join the NATO because they are scared. This is how stupid he is. But he thought always he is smart. This guy is like Muhammad. Allah and his messengers knows best. And the second he opened his mouth, we find it's a poo-poo. So in the beginning, we thought he's a smart. I mean, come on, he made Russia really strong. Then we discovered that Russia is not really strong. His weapon is junk. His intelligence is junk. All the propaganda of the massive, powerful weapon, it turned to be junk. Where is the guy who claimed that they can uh, He will end the war when I select it again. Yeah, and when he is selected again, he will, he will, he will, he will dump you. <laughs> you see, the only thing I like about Trump that he, this guy, he's good to fix the economy. But this guy is the most horrible president when it's come to abroad. The only smart thing he did it was the sanctions on Iran. That is the only smart thing. That is what genius. The rest is this guy is a certified idiot. Trump is not really good for abroad president. Trump, actually, when he was a president, he was a pro president and abroad only for Israel. This guy, he's so busy just to protect Israel. He's so busy to make Arab sign and shake hands with Israel. But he don't care really for America. Only he care for making money business, as simple as that. So Trump, for me, is better economy, and we can we stop the liberals from some ideas Otherwise, he is so stupid, unbelievably stupid, stupid. But I know some people here, they think he is the best. But doesn't mean that Biden is smarter. No, this is, the, this is your destiny in USA. You have to vote between two donkeys. One of them will hit you in your balls and the other one will hit you in the face. Choose one. Both of them, they will hit you. And both of them, they are not Christians. And both of them, they hold the Bible in their hand. Any country who depend on someone else to protect it, you should know that this country is run by a donkey. It doesn't matter what country, Poland, Ukraine, France. I mean, the stu stupid German country, until now they have no army. Who can protect you? They depend on USA. Japan. Japan until now depend heavily on USA.
uh, uh, CP, didn't Putin say to America that you cannot win people in their own country? I'm not sure what does that mean. Maybe you mean in war, like against, yeah, fighting people in their country? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe he said that, I don't know. But for sure, if somebody want to fight, it doesn't matter how massive that army, if people, they are of the will, and they are brave, not coward. And actually, I can say that I am really proud of the Ukrainian people. And now, actually, after more than three months of this war, the war will come, become more horrible for the Russian. Why? Because now those Ukrainian farmers, they have a three-month experience of daily real war, not a training. They are in war for three months with the most massive army in the world. So they have experience, which no army maybe have. So if Putin could not win, when this army was zero experience, not prepared, already, how he can win now? For me, you see, I, I, I'm a person, I never pray for death of people. I don't, I believe this is not right. But you know, sometimes when you see somebody is satanic, I made a prayer in my heart that may the Lord take this evil man before he destroyed this earth. I said to the Lord, take him. I don't know how you take him. Please take him. Because the longer he is exist, more Russian will die, more Ukrainian will die, more Georgian will die, more Armenian and many and many other countries will die. And you never know, this guy, he might go crazy because he's losing and start using nukes. And maybe many of you think, well, we are far away. I, I live in Indonesia. What does that have to do with me? Our friend, all of you will die. All of you. In the best scenario, you will go hungry. Your economy will collapse. Radiation fly everywhere. When, 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 the, when uh, uh, the Japanese, they have a, a tsunami, if you remember. The radiation went all the way to California. How far California is from Japan? Across the oceans, all the way. They found it in California. Uh, you know, just to show you how funny people are. So Putin is fighting satanic globalists. So how come Turkey is his friend? Isn't Turkey want to be the caliphate? <laughs> how come the one who is killing the Armenian is his best friend? He's fighting the globalist. He is the globalist. Russian mafia is all around the world. Who own night clubs and game clubs, sport clubs in England, in France? I mean, the globalist. This guy is against the globalist. But isn't Russia is a globalist? I mean, look how they fool you. <laughs> Do you see the stupidity? When somebody hears this, he will say that those people, you know, they are not, they, they don't even do, put their money in Russia. They, all their money is in Western countries. This is how you see from the stupidity of a pre preset mind, you know, people. Uh, somebody says, Putin cannot do this to Erdogan, Turkey. America would run difference, Turkey. What does that mean? I mean, Turkey is not a friend to anyone. All of us, we knew. This guy is like a hyena. Pay me money, I'm with you. You don't pay me money, I will go to the other side. They play games. You know, so they are like in the middle between the East and the West. So Erdogan, he want to get some money. He say, okay, you know what? I'm going to side now with the American. The, the Putin, he call him. Listen, we will stop tourism. Come on, let us do business. Okay? Yeah, he's a hyena. I mean, who is the fool here? We know, we know who's Erdogan. 
But uh, uh, when a naive person he try to explain to you politics, what you expect? Low IQ. When you say globalist, do you know what a globalist mean? They want to control the globe by money, by power, by authority, by weapon. Right now, Russia signed weapon agreements with Turkey to make weapon with India, with China. They have bases even in Africa now, in Syria. You see the globalist? Like you know, when you say the Russian, they are fighting the globalist as if they have a, they are contained. And uh, the one who is fighting the globalists, they went all the way to Moldova, 2,000 miles away from Moscow to control Moldova. Right? They are not a globalist. <laughs> uh, anyway, you know, people are really weird and silly and stupid. But I say, I love the Russian people. Actually, we in the Middle East, the Christian in the Middle East, we have to remember always that the Russian, they were always good to us. Always. But this is not Putin. Putin is very, very bad man. And he, I, I used actually to think about him differently, but this war made me discover the real person of Putin. There is no true Christian will bring a Muslim army to attack a Christian army and then rape their women. What the Ukrainian did, my friend, they, this is their country. This is their country. If you don't like it, leave. You see, just to show you how stupid people are. I am a, a person who live in America. Okay, I came to this country. They were very nice to me and they gave me their citizenship. So now I'm an American. I'm a American. And then, okay, we in this town, all of it is from my cousins. So I'm going to announce this country, an Arabian country, what they will do to me. They will shoot me dead. Why people are why people are stupid? If you want to be Russian, go to Russia. Russia is empty. It's a massive land. It's totally empty. Russia have the lowest what they call a dynasty. I don't know what they like with a word in English. In the whole in the whole world. This country is totally empty. Go and live in Russia. Who's holding you? If I don't like America, I want to be like an Arab. Okay, go and live as an Arab in Arabia. So you go to their country, and now they execute because you have some citizen there. You are going to protect them and occupy the country? And do you know that Ukraine has existed long, long before, before Russia? When Moscow was a dust, was a field of farming, those people, they have civilization, they have kings, the Ukrainian. Which means they are exist before the Russian exists in Russia. What is an excuse? If this is the excuse, well, then everybody now, so, okay, now the Russian, this is what I'm saying, this is what they will do now. There's hundreds of thousands of Russian, they are moving to Armenia. Few years from now, Putin will make a referendum in Armenia. Just wait. This is exactly what he did with Georgia. This is what he is doing now in Ukraine. Any, any area, Moldova. I mean, Moldova, there's no borders with, with, with Russia. They are far away. Referendum in Moldova. <laughs> uh, I don't support Trump. I said Trump is stupid many times. And uh, I, when Trump, he says Putin is genius. I agree. He is genius in many things. That's why he was successful to scare the hell of them. But now the war in Ukraine proved that he is an idiot. So he was genius until he started the war. Trump, my friend, is a stupid idiot. He always praises his enemies. As an example, he says, 
Taliban is a great fighter. So if Taliban is a great fighter, why only 2,000 American controlling the whole country? <laughs> I mean, what kind of an army is defeated by 2,000 Marines? 2,000, not 2,001, 2,000 Marines only. This is a Trump dump. <laughs> we support Trump in the election because we don't have a choice. We have two donkeys. One is going to hit us in the hay in the face, and the one will will hit us in our nuts. Trump he will hit us in the in the face. Not, the nuts hurt very bad, you know. So leave the nuts alone. Okay. He cannot conquer anybody. You see, everybody now he became a joke. See, Putin just a few weeks ago he kept threatening. I will respond massively. If anyone supports Ukrainian, you will see the speed of light. I will respond. And boom, they know, now they discover that his army is an army of a junk. His tanks is destroyed by toys. His S-400 and 500, it's a joke. Isn't it, this is the same country who make propaganda about we can shoot airplane 400 miles away. And 